Boom! Here we go. This is Felix Omondi, medical officer by profession here. Going direct to the point, I want to talk about a gestational trophoblastic disease, an example of its own. It's called uh, an idiotid mall. An idiotid mall is uh, the failure of the embryo to grow. Yeah, so this one brings uh, proliferation and degenerative uh, mechanisms. In a coronic villi uh, cell, so now the the, the formation of uh, hyperplastic cells, including the maternal blood, now bring a devotion of cells. There is a formation of uh, a content just along these two components, forming uh, a fluid like. A component now this fluid is what bring now the hydrated mole the fluid collects itself into the stroma and they form uh, vesicles now these small vesicles are what forms the hydrated mole how do you know that your patient is having a hydrated mole during the clinical feature uh, presentation like uh, vaginal uh, bleeding we have uh, low abdominal pains, pala, because somebody that has bled, there'll be that anemia thing that, that, that occurs. When you do your abdomen exam, the fetal heart sounds will not be heard automatically. Then we have what we call the, 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 the fetal parts. Even if you do palpation, you'll not get them. Now, how do you know that somebody is having a, an hydrated mole? You'll do investigations. Number one, you'll do what you call a full hemogram. Full hemogram will help you to know that this is particularly uh, an infection that has, has, has occurred. Another thing, uh, you do a CT scan, MRI. Then finally, you do what we call a sonography exam. That is a snootum formation on the screen. That brings the hydrated mole thing. Yeah, so... Mm, how do you do your management or basically uh, the management that is done is uh, we do supportive then there is definitive management even uh, before you do your definitive management there are several things that you love to do in this patient you'll do gxm you do full hemogram and all those things uh, basically the etiology of this disease is unknown there is just this factor that uh, the maternal uh, uh, symphysms like uh, the gamma blabulin, they, they, they'll get increased. Now this is bringing now the formation of the hyperplastic cells and, and all the components that I've just explained to you. Now, the definitive management of this thing is sanctioning evacuation. It's evacuated and it completely uh, removed from the uterine linings. So another thing that you have to know is the complications of this disease. We'll have sepsis, we'll have hemorrhagic shock, we'll have uh, acute pulmonary insufficiency during pulmonary embolism. You will have what we call uh, coagulation failure due to uh, rhythmic uh, proliferation of uh, heparin and fibric. It will bring coagulation failure. The another thing can come